by the way, I'm VJ32 back for another review. This is the Brimstone, Draconian Brimstone, I should say, <laughs> from Midnight Playing Cards. There was uh, a lot of requests for it. I got it, so here it is. Um, as you can see, I'm in a different location. I'm in, in my basement. I This lighting might be an issue, but oh well. Uh, the front of the tuck case says Draconian Brimstone. There is a Midnight Cards spade pip logo on top and down here there is a legends Lawrence Sullivan logo you can see lots of intricate copper foil throughout very nice lots of uh the um dragon uh things <laughs> scales that's it dragon scales duh continues on to the sides oops the top more beautiful copper foil details in the bottom, this is intro. It says it's made in Taiwan by Legends Playing Card Company. Classic finish and designed by Midnight Cards. The back, you see this nice spade pip logo. It says premium playing cards, no seal. And the flap, more of the same details and same with here. And nothing really on the inside. It's black. And we get to the cards. Uh, if you've had the other Grimstone, uh, the other Draconian decks, I should say, uh, there was two other colors previously, the Spitfire and Lightning, I think it was. I forget. I don't really remember. I, I could be I could be completely wrong on the colors. I don't remember what they were. But it was basically orange and blue. Look at this one. The Joker. First Joker says Joker in the corners in white. It's a uh, sealed crest thing with the legends logo and sort of going through it pretty nice some reds and whites the back design very nice i thought it had a little more color a little more striking but it's very nice highly detailed you can see all these little orange copper orange details in there the cracks and on the scales and everything that's pretty cool and it's borderless and it's very nice for fanning and cardistry the other Joker is more of the same, well, similar, except it's Joker in red in the corners. You can actually see there's some of that uh, cracking on the faces as well. And this one actually has that logo that we see on the spade tip, that dragon, uh, on a sealed red and orangey colors in this one, as opposed to white and red. The Ace of Spades, again a dragon. White Pip says Draconian Playing Cards, printed by Legends Playing Card Company, designed by Midnight Cards. Actually designed by Randy Butterfield, who owns Midnight Cards. The spades and clubs have white pips and indexes with a little red detail in there. As you can see, hearts and diamonds, red pips with a yellow detail. Custom aces, as you can see, more of that cracking. And you see another dragon in that one, in the orange color. Ace of Clubs, white. This time it's got these two dragon heads and the Legends logo. And the Ace of Diamonds, similar except it's in horns. The court cards are basically standard, uh, recolored. They got dragon scales, parts, whatever, in the background. But outside of that, it's just a traditional type court card. The custom pips. Which is fine. It makes it usable, makes it playable. Number cards. Fairly straightforward. Again, you get that cracking in the background. Kind of like a magma look to it. A lava look. Uh, anyway, that is that. The faces and the backs are sort of ready. I don't know how this is going to work from the side angle here. I'll try to get from this side on my pool table in case you're wondering. Anyway, very nice deck from Randy Butterfield. Lovely, lovely. Nice court cards. Nice number cards. Aces, Jokers, back design. It's pretty nice. It's a classic finish, which is similar to uh, a bicycle, I would say. Handles pretty good. Of course, what you really want to see is probably this and it looks very nice when you fan i'll try to spread or i'll try to fan that was a spread duh pretty nice the colors look pretty cool 
and borderless and everything. I like it. It's very similar to the other ones. If you got the other ones and you like the other ones, you like this one. Like I said, similar to a bicycle on the thinnest side, but it's nice. And so far, no problems handling wise. The back design, I mean, very minor problems. I would say five out of five, just because it looks very nice for fanning and cardistry. People are gonna like that. Faces, um, I'll say five out of five. I, I do think that, or maybe even four and three quarters out of five, just because I think maybe court cards could have been customized to fit the theme a little bit more, but still very nice. So four and three quarters, I think, is fine. If not five out of five, it's very close. Handling wise, good stock and finish, the embossed finish, decent stock. A little bit of clumping, but it's also been a little bit humid. That might have affected a little bit, so I'll just say four and three quarters out of five. Overall, a good solid, you know, four and three quarters, five out of five. It's a very nice deck. I like it. You can check it out. I'm not sure who's selling it. Or I don't think he sells any on his website. Maybe he does. I'm not sure. I'll post a link to his website, though. And you can probably check out my sponsors, collectiblepointcards.com, playingcards.net. Cardporn.com links discount codes in the description box below. I do know at least two out of three are selling them or should be selling them. Very at the very least, uh, collectible cards and playing cards.net. There's actually a bundle on playing cards.net with this and the grinders and one other deck. So you can check that out. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I like it. See you next time.